you take a little close look here at this gun, what you'll notice is that it does say 40 on the side of it. But if you take a look at the barrel, you notice it says 9mm. So what we're going to do today is go over the conversion for the M&P shield from 40 to 9. Talk about the differences in the barrels, the little that there are, and then what my results have been overall with it. But we'll keep putting some rounds down range and then get into the details coming up next. On the right here we have our shield 40 slide and on the right here we have our shield 9mm slide. We'll go ahead and pull the barrels out and show you just how in terms of interchangeable changeability how they work out I should say. Here we'll try to put the uh, 40 in the 9mm slide and you'll notice it does not lock up. Now take a look at it there. We'll show you why that is in just a second but it doesn't lock up going 40 from 9 going 9 to 40 as you probably guessed from the beginning of the video it does lock up just fine. Now there is a slight amount of lateral play right there and you can see why that is. I have our uh, cattle purse here and the only part of these things, uh, barrels I should say, that are different is that one piece right there. And we'll show it to you here once I can actually get my calipers open. There we go. Uh, on the 40, there's our measurement. And on the 9, you will see there is a slight gap there. But in terms of everything else that matters, well everything else really in general, they are the same. There's your 9mm and you'll see on the 40 it's the same, no change there. On the end of the barrel here where it locks into the slide, it is the same. And if you take a look here at the barrels, you'll notice that this is the 9 right here. Obviously it's a much thicker wall on the 40, it's a thinner wall. But other than that, they're the exact same. They're just bored out differently. Now, folks out there on the forums have mentioned that you can take a 40 um, Smith & Wesson barrel here and mill a little bit off of each side and get it to lock up in the 9mm shield slide. Now, I don't know why you really want to do that, but if you do want to do that, you can. But other than that, you can start out with a 40, switch over to the 9mm, and I've noticed no degradation at all in accuracy because the lock up there is still tight even though there is a little bit of uh, lateral movement there. I've noticed no change in accuracy at all. Other than that, they are simply identical. And the good news is, these barrels are available. You can find them online for generally $100, give or take. And take a Shield 40, turn it into a Shield 9. Yeah, all you need is the magazines beyond that. But all other than that, um, works just fine. Zero issues at all. And uh, whether or not you want to trust your life to that, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. I, I never tell people what to do in that type of situation. But it does work. I've had... Like I said, no issues running anything, hollow points, uh, full metal jacket, it eats it up just fine, as all shield pistols do. But if you guys have any questions about this conversion, um, any differences in the barrels, anything like that, uh, you can let me know. But the only difference that I found is the one I showed you. But if you have any other questions, you can post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.